Ladies and gentlemen, okay. you know, Donald Trump gets a lot of grief. Um, and his family gets a lot of grief. But maybe we should stop for a moment and contemplate we shouldn't be picking on Donald Trump's family. We should be really talking about Steve Mnuchin's family. <laughs> Steve Mnuchin, of course, is the Treasury Secretary. Um, he is uh, famous for having um, uh, fraudulent uh, foreclosures as a business model, wherein he was able to charge all sorts of fees as a chair of One West. Uh, in fact, there was a lot of reason to believe that he would be investigated, but he was not. Uh, we will talk about Kamala Harris a different day. But um, nevertheless, his wife, Louise Linton, is an actress and a bon vivant socialite, <laughs> A, a woman who had the, um, she's a writer. She also, uh, she also was raised in a castle in uh, like Switzerland or something like that, right? I believe it is. Um, and she is a former user of Instagram. Why did she shut down her Instagram account? Well, here's an exchange. It's a picture of her getting off a uh, jet that says United States of America and um, Jen Miller 29 on uh, Instagram, after seeing that picture, uh, wrote, glad we could pay for your little getaway, hashtag deplorable. And then a, another dude afterwards says, uh, I'm a uh, Ralph L says, I'm a 40 year old black man who is so glad to have class back in the executive branch of our government. And to top it off, equally glad. These men have gorgeous women on their arms. <laughs> I'm hoping to find a wife like that, just a working man and a striving entrepreneur, MAGA. <clears throat> so, <laughs> and then Emily E. Dickey says, please don't tag your Hermes scarf. Distasteful, because what's happening is as she walks down the gangplank, there's another, uh, I think there's another picture where, like, all of her uh, wardrobe is no, pointed at. It's that out. picture. She, okay. she, she went in and she tagged her bag, her scarf, um, and uh, all of her clothing. So that you know all the different brands that she's wearing or accessorizing. Not with. just that. Hopefully, she's probably hoping that they'll give it to her for free. Well, who knows, Kelly? But Louise uh, Linton writes back. Uh, this is, uh, of course, she's referring, uh, she's adding Jenny Miller, uh, 29, who said, uh, glad we could pay for your little getaway. Cute! And then a little uh, emoticon blow kiss. Aw! Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. Did you think this was a personal trip? Question mark? Exclamation point. Adorable! Exclamation point. Do you think the U.S. government paid for our honeymoon or our personal travel? L O L O L L. Have you given more uh, to the economy than me and my husband? <laughs> Does anybody give to the economy? Is that the way it works? Can you donate to the economy? I think I've actually given a lot to the economy for my trust fund. You know what's, things, no, okay? but you know what's, sir, I mean, look, I understand she has her own life. But you'd think the Treasury Secretary's wife would understand that you don't give to the economy. Like, oh. I don't know. I just sort of feel like maybe, I don't know, so. at dinner they might talk about some basic <laughs> tenets of what... Uh, you have like effect this what are you talking adorable about? naivete to use. No, that. listen, that's, that's, it's amazing. You're using Lewis Linton words. Okay, so then she goes, I'm pretty sure we paid more in taxes toward our day, quote, unquote, trip than you did. Pretty sure the amount we sacrifice, the sacrifice, the sacrifice per year is a lot more than you'd be willing to sacrifice if the choice was yours. Oh. Now, I don't know what... There's a couple of points I want to make there. One, they don't sacrifice by paying for their uh, taxes any more than I sacrificed when I had to uh, pay $3 for a coffee this morning. I didn't sacrifice so I could get this coffee. You have no I idea how much it. I sacrifice. The other part is... Um, the idea that you'd be willing to sacrifice if the choice was yours. No, you don't have a choice. You've got to pay your taxes. 
But also the idea that Steve Mnuchin doesn't have a, bu a bunch of secret offshore bank accounts that he is not paying taxes on is completely well, preposterous. Well, I find that hard to believe. You're right, that they're not uh, mitigating their tax bills. Minimize but my sacrifice. You're, way, who, you're yeah. adorably out of touch. Emoticon, heart eyes. Thanks for the passive-aggressive na nasty comment. Your kids look very cute. Your life looks cute. I know you're mad, but deep down you're really nice, and so am I. Sending me passive-aggressive Instagram comments isn't going to make life feel better. Maybe a nice message, one filled with wisdom, and who nanity would get more traction. Please have a pleasant evening. Go chill out and watch the new Game of Thrones. It's fab. <laughs> How can people question the merits of the Cuban Revolution ever again? <laughs> um, all right. You, she, my wife drives a hard way. When I was negotiating a purchase her at the Beverly Hills Hilton, you should see it. I mean, she has a very strong sense of the economy, okay? <laughs> she gives to the economy. I remember one time, time she actually, she personally wanted to notarize of people getting evicted from their homes illegally <laughs> while we were in a private jet. She said it was fab too. It's kind of ironic. She really she loves Game of Thrones. She, she literally buys jewelry and thinks that's her giving to the economy. She contributes to the economy by buying diamonds, and she forced me to do it. Okay, I mean, I remember I bought a woman from Estonia once, much less sharp than. Hi, folks. Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So, if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.